All right, so welcome to beautiful Bass Country, home of the Piedmont de Espelette. So if you're wondering what this pepper's doing here on the edge of France and then also Spain, because this pepper can only be grown here in this microclimate, but also it has what is called an AOP. So it's protected worldwide, and guess what? You can only get it here. So why am I here? Well, we get to discover this, and then finally, I think it's time to learn how to actually use it in food. So let's go. And I forgot one thing, and it's time to go get that right now. All right guys, so welcome back. Hope you're ready for this adventure. Well, Christopher Columbus actually brought this back from his travels. And so he put it here in the south of France because it's a microclimate here. You can't get it anywhere else in the world. We're gonna be here, we're gonna explore it, we're gonna see how to cultivate it, we're gonna see how to actually use it. I'm super excited. Hopefully it's a little bit warm, it's a microclimate, so it should be warm. But besides that, I really don't know. <laughs> So are you ready to go uh, pepper hunting, as they say? What? <laughs> he is from France, and we're now in France, in the south of France, and I think it's time to go pepper hunting. A little bit of rain can help as well. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so we are now in the fields, and can you tell me a little bit, first off, how do peppers grow in this climate? Alors là, je, je suis en train de ramasser des piments bien rouges. Ouais. C'est des piments qui ont euh, donc ils sont prêts à, à être récoltés. Ok. Euh, il faut attendre euh, ce stade de maturation pour avoir une bonne qualité de, de, de produit. Oui, oui. Voilà, là les piments euh, sont verts, ils commencent à changer de couleur, mais c'est pas le bon stade. So how long does it actually take for the peppers to come to maturity? So once you plant them. What is the, is it about four months, six months? Il faut savoir une chose, c'est que le, le, le piment, il est planté environ au mois de juin. Ok. Au mois de juin, donc il commence à y avoir les premières fleurs. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Cool. Il faut deux mois à une fleur pour donner un fruit comme ça. Ouais. Le 15 juin, euh, c'est planté. 15 août, on commence à avoir les premiers fruits. Wow. Toute la récolte se fait manuellement. Ah, ok. Et on, on doit choisir les piments yes. qu'on ramasse. Tu vois, on ramasse euh, celui-là. Ouais. Celui-là, non, on le ramasse pas encore parce qu'il il a encore beaucoup de verre. Donc okay. on, on le laisse. Tu vois, tout ça, on peut ramasser. Mais euh, il faut vraiment attendre qu'il ait ce stade-là pour des questions de qualité. Ok. And so, why is it only here in this region that you can get this kind of pepper? Alors, justement, ben, donc on cultive ici le piment depuis le 16e siècle. Ouais. Et ben, c'est grâce à Christophe Colomb qui, ah. est, donc, qui nous a ramené okay. ça. Il y avait des basques dans l'équipage. Le, dans le, yes. Donc, ils ont ramené des graines dans leur poche et ah. euh, ils ont semé euh, le maïs et le piment dans cette vallée ici. Wow. Et au 16e siècle. Yes. Et depuis le 16e siècle, on cultive le piment. You say, you keep uh, saying that this is a fruit. So this is actually a fruit. C'est un fruit exactement. Pourquoi Ah, bonne question. Simplement parce que on définit un fruit quand il est ramassé sur la plante. Ce qui pousse dans le sol, c'est un légume. Une carotte Yes. Ça pousse dans le sol, c'est un légume. Une tomate, c'est un fruit. Ouais. Voilà. Yes, correct. All right, so that's why that's a little thing for yourself at home. So if it grows above the ground, it's actually a fruit. But if it below it grows below the ground, it's actually going to be a vegetable. Pretty cool, huh? Would you might want to get to the next part of the process? Maybe that's indoors? Oui, là on va mettre les piments à sécher sous la serre. Okay, well let's go. Okay. All right, so now we're out of the rain and we actually get to come into this wonderful place. So what is this first and foremost? 
Alors ici, on va mettre notre, le piment qu'on vient de récolter, on va le mettre à, à maturation, c'est-à-dire qu'il va, va continuer de, de mûrir okay. et de développer du goût, de la, de, de, de la couleur et tous les arômes vont se révéler ici. So we just need to spread them out now. So for how long do the, do the peppers actually need to sit here? Alors ici, euh, on va le laisser pendant 15 jours minimum. Wow. Et moi, je les laisse trois semaines à peu près pour que vraiment euh, le goût se révèle et que ça soit vraiment euh, quelque chose de qualité. Ok, is there a difference in this versus say, is there one that we can see that's 15 days old? Oui, bien sûr. Tu vois, je vais te montrer la différence. Donc, euh, euh, ce piment-là, il, il est bien mûr, tu okay. vois. Et le piment qu'on vient de ramasser, tu vois la différence de couleur. Is there any way we can taste that? Ouais, bien sûr. Tiens, ah. regarde, sans le. Wow. First off, the smell is absolutely amazing. Has a little bit of a tomato smell for yourself, and not much heat. But that one, that one there is probably going to be very spicy. Alors voilà, c'est ça. Il y a toute la partie blanche ici, avec le placenta, et la chair, c'est euh, toute la partie aromatique. Tu veux le goûter Oui Ok. Again, that's absolutely wonderful. And now I'm going to burn my mouth on this one, because this one is the spicy one. My mouth is not going to like this. All right, so I need to eat here and here. Alors voilà, là tu as la, la, la partie placenta où il y a du piquant. Woo, that's there. Okay. Oh, it's really good. That's actually really good. Tu vois, c'est c'est une chaleur. C'est pas c'est pas des coups d'aiguille. C'est quelque chose qui chauffe la bouche comme un bon vin en fait. Ah. Okay. Not bad. Ah, en train de rougir là. Maybe we can take a break. Um. Woo. Okay, anyway, so in town, I saw a lot of the peppers that are actually on strings. Right. Is there any way that I might be able to, or for we, for us to be able to do that today? Oui. Okay. okay. Would you like to go now? D'accord. Okay, well, y'all look at this while we go to the next spot, and we'll see you there soon. All right, so now, guys, we are at a cool little thing. And so this is the rope, I guess, rope of uh, peppers, if you would say that. Voilà, moi, je vais trier les piments et je vais les mettre euh, sur cette corde. C'était la, la manière traditionnelle okay. de faire sécher le piment sur les façades des maisons. Tu vois, donc j'ai une aiguille, je, je le pique au bas du pédoncule et hop, je le mets comme ça. Okay. Et voilà, je choisis un autre piment. Il faut que l'ensemble le, le, soit esthétique, c'est très important. Le but, c'est que ça doit sécher naturellement. Okay. Souvent, euh, ce qu'on fait, c'est que les gens les gardent sur les cordes, comme ça, mm -hmm. dans la cuisine, yeah. et euh, ils prennent un bout okay. et ils le mettent dans la, dans, la, dans la sauce ou dans le plat, tu vois, pour le cuisiner, quoi. Mm -hmm. Donc, on finit, on fait une boucle. Voilà. Donc, c'est terminé. Wow, that's awesome. And so, all you're doing is now making a slip knot at the end of it? And then you can hang it from anywhere, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Alors, tu vois, euh, donc là, la, la corde qu'on vient de faire, là, qui est toute okay. fraîche, et ça, c'est un piment qui est sec wow. et qu'on peut déjà utiliser dans la cuisine. All right, so now we get to go taste things. And I had to dress traditional because this is what the traditional garment is in Basque country. So I hope you're ready for a little bit of pepper action. All right, guys, so welcome back to the bonus round. Got to pay a little homage to my man, Vincent. And so now it's time to use this product for you at home. So what I have before you is my favorite thing in the entire world, chicken salad. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of this and explain it. So I'm going to add the Piedmont Desplit right on top. And what this is going to add is not just a little bit of tomato flavor, but also that heat that you're looking with. All right, so guys, come here. So this is a little bit of homage back to Espelette. So you got to always start off with a little bit of a toasted bun. It's going to come right out. Looks wonderful, by the way. Get a little napkin fold, put right on. You scoop of the chicken salad right on top. Gonna go in right with a piece of cheese. Looks great. Some lettuce, of course. And then do not forget about the dab of ranch. That is the secret ingredient for every chicken salad. And if you thought I was done with the color, boom. This is my favorite chicken salad sandwich in the world, and we're just added a better ingredient to it. So now it's the best in the world. All right, guys. Guys, I think we just found the secret ingredient to the best chicken sauce sandwich you've ever had before in your life. All right, so you got to learn a lot about this spice. 
If you can get it, buy it. Use it in your cooking as fast as possible. And guys, guess what? I'll see you next time.